In a realm where satire reigns supreme, we encounter our main character, Alito, embarking on a grand quest. His objective? To obtain the elusive Christian nationalist appeal to heaven flag. Yet, this isn't your typical leisurely weekend outing. No, it demands wit, cunning, and a disregard for polite society. Alito's retreat, a fortress of solitude, serves as the chosen location for this daring flag-raising endeavor. But this task is no mere feat of hoisting a pirate flag on a ship. Oh no, it's fraught with danger and potential repercussions, especially for a federal judge. Now, you might ponder, isn't he a Supreme Court judge? Surely he's beyond such trivial matters? Well, dear viewer, you'd be mistaken. Even the mighty are subject to the fallout of their deeds. Yet Alito, in his wisdom, gambled with fate. When confronted by the New York Times, seeking explanations, Alito opted for silence. Perhaps he hoped to evade detection akin to a certain former president. Or perchance, he relied on his lifelong tenure and impartial judicial demeanor to shield him. However, Alito underestimated the resolve of the American populace. His flagrant flouting of the law, his blatant bias, and his fervent ideology were exposed. And the bitter truth? He didn't even bother to conceal it. Thus, we confront the undeniable reality of Alito, a man who believes he's untouchable, cloaked in the guise of impartiality. Yet the question lingers. Will enough Republican senators muster the courage to impeach him? Only time will unveil the answer. In the interim, prepare your popcorn, for this promises to be a spectacle worth witnessing. That's right. It was indeed all over the Capitol on January 6th. Just look. And while I don't think it is quite as vile a symbol as the inverted flag flying over the wreckage of the sacked capital, still, uh, I think it would be fair to say an explicitly political statement, right? And unlike the first case where one can take a normal American flag and turn it upside down because you, I don't know, got into a fight with the neighbors, still working on that. In this case, Alito has to first acquire the Christian nationalist appeal to heaven flag and then take the action to fly it at his vacation home. Not so easy to explain away because you got into a tiff with another set of neighbors or to blame on your wife. This on its own would be cause for sanction for any federal judge who flew it. To be clear, if you're not in the Supreme Court and you did this, you'd get into a lot of trouble. Now, this time, Alito did not offer a statement to The New York Times. He clearly thinks he can get away with this and anything else, much like the ex-president who he seems to want to bail out of trouble. Alito believes he can act with total impunity. He thinks of himself as covered beneath the veneer of nonpartisan jurisprudence and protected by lifetime tenure. And who's going to find enough Republican senators to impeach him? What this story reveals is what we've already known about Alito. He is indeed an ideological zealot and a flagrant partisan who puts his own personal politics before the law. And apparently he thinks so little of us, the American people, he does not even have the decency to pretend to hide it. 